so let's get this day started here. We have got a father and a son that's coming up here. And boy, I tell you what, from the moment we met these guys, we just knew. J Joel introduced us to Richard and John. And it, the Weebergs are just a phenomenal bunch of people. First of all, to have father and son working in this industry is just incredible. And I don't want to steal their thunder. They're going to come up here. Guys, get up here. Give everybody a warm round of applause over here for <laughs> Richard and John Weeberg. Uh, yeah, we hope you're ready to re reverse engineer your success. So whether or not like he pointed out, whether or not you've made a little bit or whether you've made a lot or whether you're in the middle, this is going to help you see why you've done as well as you have so far and how to change that and how to increase your numbers and what we're going to go through. And today that's what we're going to talk about is literally, you know, reverse engineering your success. And one of the goals that you should have if you're not to 10,000 people on your list, that should be one of your first major goals is get to 10,000 people on your list as fast as you can. And we're gonna highlight how the numbers work out and how important speed is. Money likes speed and building your list likes speed um, because of a few other ways we're gonna go through. So a quick introduction to us. Um, I got started marketing online, got introduced to marketing and everything else and a few other things by him, of course, and he's been a great leader um, helping along the way. Um, but I got started when I was 15 in high school. 10. Technically 10, but it's more serious when I was 15. Um, and I actually, the only job I've ever worked was at Walmart because I saw the future, and that's how I got started was I saw the future. I saw, um, I remember when I was little, Matthew Neer stuff and all the, everyone's stuff that was going on, all of the traveling, all of the great things that you can accomplish and the people you meet, and I wanted that. I didn't want to go the college career and so on, so I decided I'm going to try this. The first two years, I actually ignored everything he told me. I said, I did. I wanted to do it myself. I'm like, let me try it myself. Let me see if I can make it work. And like a lot of people, the first two years, I made a good old below negative or below zero, a good negative number. I think it was negative like two grand because I worked at Walmart for, I think, like a couple months to fuel the business. Made nothing. Kept pumping it in. Finally, I was like, Dad, could you... Could you give me a hand a little bit, help me out a little bit? <laughs> so we worked it out, and ever since then, we've been working together. Um, I'm blessed to work with them, absolutely love them to death, um, and I'm glad to be on this journey with them. And now we're here. It's, it's been a good journey. We've grown and learned, and we're hoping to teach you guys at least a little something today. And I got started, I used to own some retail stores, and I've always been in business ever since I was, like, in my early 20s. And I got my first start in actually Amway and the old school way, you know, of con contacting your friends and your family and making a list that way and contacting them. And I, I, I was in it for like six, seven years. But I never lost a dream because I ended up going back to a different route in business and ended up buying a couple of retail stores and ended up uh, having some stores in my local mall and stuff. And when I found internet marketing, I had actually gone bankrupt. And in the process of that, I was so financially ruined that I was literally living in the basement with my family in somebody else's welfare apartment. So that's when I seen internet marketing and that's what got our basically me mm -hmm. his whole start. He was a little kid obviously then. But some people struggle, you know, trying with the, uh, putting the finances together to build your list, to build your business, because, you know, we all know that it takes time, effort, and money to make this thing work. And no matter what you got to do, your circumstances are all, everybody's in here different. And there's somebody in the room that has had some tragedy hit them, like big time. And they made a commitment to be here, uh, Mr. John Smith. Uh, what he's done to be here today is absolutely amazing and it kind of reminds me of some pieces of my own story of how broke I was when I started doing this stuff. Um, but whatever circumstances you are currently in, just realize that you got to find a way to do this stuff mm -hmm. because that's part of our story is today our lifestyle wouldn't exist had I given up because I didn't have the resources available to me. Then I didn't make it happen in some way. Um, you know, we, we literally have gone from living in welfare housing to having a home now that's 
over 4,000 square feet and my whole lifestyle's paid for. I got myself a completely out of debt and I got my own house and we both travel and it's been wonderful. Obviously since then it's been a lot more better for all of us and it's, it's great. Yeah. yeah, so we literally have built and clawed our way to where we ended up getting and sometimes it's hard for me to speak because I'm so emotionally attached to financially what it did for my family. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just like blows me away every day the lifestyle that you can live where, you know, traditionally what you're taught, this is so much better, it's unreal. Mm -hmm. um, so I get kind of broken up about it sometimes because of I remember the things in the past that led us to where we're at mm -hmm. right now. There we go. There we go. So as we go through the rest of this presentation, you want to make sure that you've, you're going to be focusing on making sure you work with your warm market and developing people into your warm market throughout this process. And your ability to turn your leads into friends, into family, into people who like, know, and trust you is the most important part of the process. All business, in no matter what you're doing offline, online, digital, um, not digital, is all around building like, know, and trust completely. That's all it is, whether it's with your emails, with your videos, which we're going to go more into once we go into the numbers and so on. It all lies in how well you can build like, know, and trust. And if you're really good at it, you can make some pretty healthy dough along the way. And we're going to teach you guys, hopefully, how to do it more, how to increase your numbers, and how to get more dough, and to build even stronger relationships as well. And part of this war market, you know, sometimes... People look at other people who are having success, like with the launch of List Leverage, and they'll ask us, like, how are you guys doing it? I'm doing the same thing you're doing, but I'm not getting those results. What, what am I doing wrong? And that's the part about the warm market and your ability to turn, you know, your leads into friends, is we're so passionate about doing this stuff that for us, our conversion rate is super high because... We have a super, super, a large amount of a warm market pretty much all the time, which we'll show you and talk more about how to do so. And we turn our leads into sales very fast because we make friends very fast because we're so passionate about being in this business and grateful for it that it comes out in everything we do and that's mm -hmm. part of the process that we'll show you. Like when we do videos, when we email our list, you know, just like now, the, the, everything that comes out of me, that's the way I feel all the time about this business. And that reflects into turning leads into friends, into sales, because people want to be around people that are passionate about what they're doing. So remember that when you're building your business, be passionate, use the pain or the struggles in your life or the good things in your life, your family, your friends, use those emotions to help you build the business because it's gonna help propel you uh, further faster because that's gonna show in everything that you do. Yeah, completely, completely. Go ahead. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. So we're introducing to you the you gotta go back. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. The master formula, which is a kind of a name we've came up for. People pay us $10,000 to look at this for just three seconds. So we're gonna put it on the screen for, you know, 0.5, so make sure you take a screenshot. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be my, no. But it, it's a really good formula just to understand your marketing and why you're where you're at or why you aren't where you wanna be or, or so on. And it's something that we've kinda, we actually learned and we've kinda curtail into some of our training, some of the education we try to give people and for you guys to understand as well today. Yeah, we kind of learned this formula from a Nick Single. I don't know if some of you know who Great he guy, is. Nick Single, if he ever yeah. sees this. But some of the training that he's put out, that's how we kind of, it made us realize, we always realized yep. where we're at, why, and where we need to be and how to uh, reverse engineer our success that, to that point. Mm -hmm. So this is the master, <laughs> everyone picks up their phones. This is, turn it, turn it quickly, quickly, quickly. This is the master formula. Um, and we're basing it around, um, I thought we were going averages. The, the averages. So like the basic averages for marketing online, um, the average opt-in rate, the average click-through rates, and the average buying rate. So let's just say right now you were running a campaign completely fresh from the start and you were generating traffic for maybe Jazz Deep or someone else <laughs> and you got 1,000 opt-ins. Um, you're going to get around a 20% open rate on your broadcast around there and you get 200 <laughs> opens and from there around 10% of these people are going to click through and from those 20 people, see we did the math there, um, around 2% are going to buy. 
So you'll get around 0.4 sales, which for a lot of people, especially if you're just getting started or if you don't have a huge warm market, 0.4 sales, you can't do a lot with that. And you can't do a lot with, you know, a thousand opt-ins, how much you spent to get that. The numbers don't look as much as you'd like them to be. But say you get 0.4 sales, you just have to send out either three emails a day to maybe get a sale or three emails in three days in a row. Um, that is the, let's just say you're selling a product for $100. So if you times that by 0.4 sales, you get $40 daily, which is a start. And we're going to talk about how to increase these numbers and how to kind of multiply these numbers out. Yeah, and if, if you already have 1,000 opt-ins on your list, roughly, if you're just getting started and you haven't got any sales yet, that's normal sometimes. Uh, you just haven't hit the right people. You haven't mm -hmm. emailed enough. Um, and it's, if it's not your warm market, meaning people that already know, like, and trust you, these numbers are going to be less. Yes. But don't let that discourage you because these are just give you guides of, hey, I need to get to 1,000 opt-ins as fast as I, as, as I can if I'm not there yet. Hey, I need to get to 10,000 opt-ins as mm -hmm. fast as I can. Because as you do that, you're going to learn. You're going to become better and better at what you do. It's just no different than you go to your job. At first, when you go to your job, uh, sometimes you don't even know where the bathroom is. You don't know where the lunchroom is. You don't know uh, what exactly you're going to be doing. And the longer you're at your job, what happens? You get better and better and better at it. Mm -hmm. And eventually, you can te you're the one teaching it to somebody else. It's the same thing with marketing. And what's going to happen is you become a master at this stuff over time. Mm -hmm. You just get better and better at it. Right. So what we're going to do, if you, if you calculate that out, the $40 times 30 days, it'd be around $1,200 or sorry, $1, a month, um, which would be monthly if you kept up that same traffic flow. Um, but one of the things we also want to impress upon you guys is to make sure that you are building your list as fast as possible in the shortest amount of time. Because what's going to happen is your leads, some are going to go to competition, some are just going to drop off, some are going to lose interest, some are just not going to be interested or they're not going to resonate with your message. Um, so what's one of the things that we've learned as well is the, the faster you build your list. So say if you're aiming for 10,000 or 100,000 or a million or whatever you're going to next, the faster you do that, the more you have of a market to work with right away, the more of a warm market you have to work with right away. Um, so make sure you do that. Um, you build it as fast as you possibly can and focus on lead generation, lead generation. For those of you who follow us at all, you know we talk about feeding the machine, um, which we're gonna get to a little bit more in a sec here. So these numbers, you know, I've seen a lot of people struggle with that. You know, you're getting your opt-ins, you're getting that flow, and some people struggle, other people get sales right away. And there's one other part that I like to say to people is, you have your ready nows, your ready laters, and your ready way laters that come onto your list. Some of these people are gonna build a relationship with you quicker, and they're gonna be ready for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be ready to buy something immediately. Some are gonna be later, some are gonna be way later, and a lot of people fail and they quit in this industry because they start building their list and start getting some numbers, and before they get those first sales that are so important to them, they get frustrated and they quit and then they jump to another opportunity because they think the grass is greener on the other side. But it is a process that will set you free if you want to make $10,000 a month, you want to make $20,000 a month, $100,000 a month, it truly is in the process, and it's mm -hmm. always in the process. Which we're going to highlight a little more in a yeah. second here. So what we're going to do, you can actually almost go to the next one, is we're yeah. going to do some math and kind of see what you can produce if you start increasing those numbers and work with them faster. Um, because again, it's, it's all about speed. So let's just say you were to multiply that up because we were looking at the other numbers, and for some people, if you're just getting started, 1,200 monthly is a good number to have you're producing. But if you were to increase that more, let's see what else you can produce. So if you multiply that just, just 10 times, so you built your list a little bit faster, you're going at a faster pace into a higher number, obviously. Um, 10,000 opt-ins times 20% open rate get you 2,000 opens around. 2,000 opens around 10% click-through rate be 200 clicks. And 200 clicks times 2% is four sales. And four sales doesn't sound like a lot. But if you have the same amount per sale that we calculated another one, you're now making instead of forty dollars a day, four hundred dollars a day. And if you calculate that out, you can go to the next slide. Um, it would be, if I remember right, twelve thousand dollars a month now you're at, 
which is completely different and completely life-changing when compared to the, the 1200. It, it's completely different. Um, and again, it, this is going to affect the, the income comes along with how fast you build your list. Like I said, people are going to fall off. People are going to not be interested. You're in so much competition, especially in the niche that we are in. Um, that the faster you do it, the faster you make sure lead generation is your number, number, number one priority. It's going to help you a whole ton getting to the next 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 number you know, people up on your list. Yeah, you don't, you don't want it to take five years to get no. to 10,000 no, no, people no, 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 on no. your list. Because just like Johnny is saying, people are going to drop off your list. People, you're, you know, they're not, some of these people have passed on, they've gone here, they've done this, they've, you know, they're just not there anymore. So your list really isn't 10,000 leads if you're taking that yes. many, you know, that long to build it. So it's very important that you look at your business and as you start to get leads, you want to figure out and always have that churning in your mind, I need to get leads faster. I need to get leads faster because you want to get to your, level of income that you want to sooner, I'm sure, than later. And so you, that's what you got to look at always is be excited by the numbers of opt-ins coming in. That's one little trick that I've always done doing this stuff so I never got discouraged when I first got started. It took me two and a half years to make my first sale. And the only thing that got me excited in the beginning was lead flow. That's what I focused on. So every time I'd get an opt-in, I would get fired up. That was like getting a sale for me. And the more opt-ins I had coming in, I would get more fired up and I would do more because I knew eventually those leads would turn into sales. Yep. Yep. As long as you don't quit, you don't give up and you push forward, eventually you're gonna to start to get some sales out of that. And that's why it's so critical that you look at this in a time frame that you're like, hey, I don't want this to take 10 years to get to this, these marks. I gotta figure out how to get to these marks sooner. Yep. So we're going to go through how you can increase in some of these numbers because it's all about how can you get higher open rates, how can you get higher click-through rates, how can you get more sales from the money you're spending. That's what we all want to do. We all want to make sure if we're buying traffic and if we're dropping a lot of money on traffic, on leads, that you're getting results, that you're getting, you know, you're feeding your machine back to you as well. Um, so we just took a look at some of our results from List Leverage. Um, this was, I believe three days ago, four days ago, yeah. we put together a slide right before we got here. Um, but we got around 3,051 leads in the list leverage system, which we made around $40,000. Um, Between the slide. three income streams. In the three income streams in the 30 days. So we're going to go to look at the numbers because we calculated this out. And see, come on, I know. We've actually made more money in that time frame because we have other lists that we build as well. And it's, it's all truly math. And, you know, though that's a small number of leads for mm -hmm. what we made out of that. And it's because of the system. It's a beautiful yep. system. Yep. And then our own personal conversion rate of how we turn those leads into friends yep. and how we build our businesses and the conversion rate. Yep. And as I say here, you know, so we have, we highlighted an industry average of around 2%. And this is just a percent higher, but even a percent or two higher can drastically affect how much you're making per sale and per people you are bringing in. Um, I mean, if, if you took away, um, let's just go with 15 or 20 people, that could be, if we're making so much per people we're putting in, that could be $5,000 or $10,000 that would be gone. So what we're going to go through is going to help you get those higher conversion rates that you want from your list. I mean, every lead technically was worth to us 13 bucks. So think about it. Leads are, leads are everything in your That's business. That's why you get excited everything. about the leads, yes. why you feed your machine, because you yes. get excited. How many people in here know what a lead is worth to yourself? <clears throat> Only a few people. So that is something you definitely want to know because then you get more excited. You do more every time you see the leads because you know that eventually that's going to turn into money in your pocket. Mm -hmm. So like we talked about, your, your warm market and your ability to create a warm market is going to affect this conversion rate. It's going to affect the sales you're able to produce and how well you're able to turn these friends or to turn these people who are strangers into friends on your list. Um, and it's going to affect your ability to create results, like I said, sales. Um, and life-changing outcomes, whether or not, you know, we're able to travel and go do stuff and everything else that's going on in life and creating the house that he did and being able to live on my own and have my own house and all of these different things that has gone on with the traveling and everything has all been from 
our ability, like I said, to build like, know, and trust and to create friends with people and to work with people. Um, and it's, it's, once you are able to do that, it's incredible what you can produce than just, other than just money as well. Yeah, um, Greg had said something earlier, you know, just some of the emotion that he had as well when he was up here is that you, you want that to follow through because you've got to realize that these are people. And so we look at every single person that's on our list as a potential person that becomes a lifelong friend with us. Like Joel Tarian. I would have never met him if it wasn't for email marketing. That's how we met. Uh, Celia Clark, who's like another brother to me too. I, he was on my list. Now we're great friends. I mean, and so on and so on. A lot of us, that's how we're connected is through our list mm -hmm. and that's how we all got connected in some way shape or form um, and that's why it's so important that when you talk to your list when you communicate with your list and you email them that you relay you know that passion and that message that you really want to inspire them and help mm -hmm. them they want somebody to be a winner in their life and help them move on yep. so uh, there's a lot of things that you can do that we're going to go through now that are going to help you turn your leads into friends and help you build a better relationship with them. Because again, that is how you're going to produce all of the sales because all of the sales, it's, I think it's like 87% of all the sales you're ever going to get are all in the follow-up. So one of the ways, number one, and we say this to a lot of people all the time and we will always say it every time we meet with people who are not doing it, email your damn list every single day. Every, every single day, or at the very least, every other day. And the reason for this is because, like I already highlighted, you are dealing with so much competition, so many other people trying to get in their inboxes, trying to get a dollar out of them, trying to work with them, that you have to be the number one, the number one leader, the number one person in their mind. Because that's why, the, why they're going to purchase from you. That's why they're going to invest with you. Like one of the reasons why we follow Joel so closely is because he, number one, he emails his list yep. every single day. <laughs> he does other things we're going to highlight here too. But also because he's out there. He's, he's, if you look at his Facebook page and other things he's doing, he's always producing content. If you notice, all the leaders are always producing content. They're always producing videos. They're always producing emails because they're showing what it is to be a leader. And that's what your list, whether you realize it or not, is looking for you to do. They're looking for you to be number one. Whether or not you're seeing massive results yet, there's a variety of ways that you can still show them that you care, show them that you're there for them, show them that you're gonna help them, and show them that you can help them get to where they are to where they wanna be. Yeah, if you're not getting an occasional F off from your list, <laughs> you're not emailing them enough. <laughs> you do, and that's the thing a lot of people worry about is they worry about spamming their list. But people who are worried about you spamming them and who are gonna to react to that probably don't want them on your team or on your list. You on your <laughs> list. Anyway, so they can get the hell out of Dodge. It's okay. Um, and you're not gonna, I've seen there's some marketers who just email, email, email like crazy, like Grant Cardone emails like three, four, five times a day. And these people who do it a lot, who email the most and who are the most consistent, they have the largest following because it's all an attention game. Like, know, and trust in an attention game. If you can get the attention, you can build like, know, and trust, you have a bunch of loyal followers, loyal friends that are, you can work with in an instant. And that's the whole point of all this marketing is working with as many people as you can and expanding that. So make sure you email every day, please. And if you don't email them, we're going to. We're going to email them and then we're going to take them. So please yeah. drop off, leave your computer to the side. We'll email them and yeah. we'll bring them with us. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. We, we, we shouldn't tell me. No, no. <laughs> you say don't email yeah, your don't list. Don't email your list. It's an awful idea. It'll make you no money. Um, one of the big things, too, um, I've talked about a lot, I think, with Roger. Um, a lot of it is videos, as from what I've learned and from what we've experienced through our own testing and experimenting, and I've done some funky videos, like with my head in the oven and all kinds of weird stuff, and it works. It actually converts, as strangely as it sounds. I have done a lot of weird stuff, yes. but it, it converts. It does. Um, it's videos are the the highest form of converting media there is. They convert better than anything else, than emails, than, you know, I mean sales pages, videos around them, but they convert better than anything else. Because they show, and you can if you do them right, they can help you build like, know, and trust very quickly, very effectively, and that's why they work so well. And that's why when you see like a, an amazing, like the videos that Matthew Neer has produced and the team has produced, they're really well and put together, and that's yeah. why the system produces like it does, because they're so well put together and formulated. And again, especially if you, 
um, if you do it in other ways as well, because again, you can highlight in your videos, in your lives, in, in your sales pages, like we'll go about in a second here, you don't have to just talk about the money or about the system. You can talk about yourself. You can share your story like we've done and other people do. You can do a variety, of, you, and you have to. You have to come from a variety of different directions because not everyone is going to relate to your exact specific message or your, your one message. They may not care about the, the system. They want to hear about you, that you're someone who's trustworthy. Or maybe they don't care about you really, they care that the system works, they care that other people are succeeding. And that's why making sure that you incorporate in your videos and your sales pages different aspects, coming from different aspects and different things. So again, whether it's about family, whether it's about providing social proof, whether it's about the system itself, how it works, it, it helps your conversion. That's what we do a lot, all the time. I think um, we've probably done for list leverage now, sent out to a list probably like 10 different videos coming from different perspectives yep. because the more you do that the more Bob may not like a message but Mary does or now Mary didn't but now she does too or Bob does and it, it mixes up um, and also again videos and lives they separate you from everyone else because again what does Joel what does Matthew what does everyone here do that, why you follow them because they're not just emailing they have videos they have groups, they have all these different things to help keep the attention and keep turning the attention focused on them and it works out great. Yeah, videos build confidence and it, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. sorry, right. sorry. <laughs> well, anyway. We're getting kind of close, but yeah. we'll, we'll try to speed it up. Videos build confidence and that's Matthew when he did the videos for the system. That's why it's, you know, the output is so good is because his videos build confidence really quick with the people and that's what video can do for you is build confidence and help you turn those leads into friends and into sales because they get to know you 10 times as fast so don't be afraid to do video mm -hmm. um we'll go really fast now since okay. we're running out of time i can i can speak really quick so let's go yeah <laughs> so um, another thing too is we highlight is basically building other lists we call them other lists um kristen lay here does a great job with her facebook um, she gets a lot of attention. I give her a round of applause if you want, but um, she's great. But as you have, you have, whether you realize it or not, Joel also has a great Facebook. Um, um, you have other lists by all the content you're producing, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on LinkedIn, wherever the case may be. You have other areas, whether you realize it or not, people are watching you, people are looking at your messaging, and people want to join you or they have interest, but if you're not using them, people like us or Joel or Kristen are going to snag them away so make sure you are using your other list that's what we call them because you, you do have followings on your social content and you can use that especially again um instead of just talking about you can do the same thing like i said about emailing um you can come from different perspectives on your page so like facebook uh kristen will do one about family she'll do one about uh, her kid, she does a lot of great posts about her kid and other perspectives you can come from can help raise your conversion and help you get more sales because you're coming from different perspectives. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can go faster if I need to. I think he said five minutes. We got like two minutes left. Okay. I think we have like a few more slides. We're almost done. Yeah, we we'll like a few more slides. Okay, another thing too, make sure, please, 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 make sure, sorry, you wanna go on this? No, go ahead. Uh, oh, oh, one okay. too far. Go ahead. You, okay, you want Just, to go? Uh, let's no, go, go ahead. Okay, make sure you are creating your own sales pages. Make sure you are creating your own systems. Um, we have. Ah, uh, that's good. Okay. Anyways, um, make sure you are creating your own systems. Like we have, two funnels we've already made for building list leverage. We have probably around eight to 10 sales pages we've created just for list leverage. We got funnels all over. We the place. have all types of funnels, all types of pages, all types of videos. Because again, you want to reach the most amount of people possible and from a varying number of perspectives. So we make sure that we create systems for bringing in customers in whatever you're building. So say if it's something else later on or another way to build just TA, whatever the case may be, make sure you are doing it from, you have your own stuff because again, it builds authority. Um, people see that you're being an individual. Um, Tom the Frey Hat Guy is really good at that. Great. Uh, uh, love it. Branding. Um, and people see that you're a leader. They see that you have your own stuff. And whether or not you're great at now, work on it. Work on it, work on it, because it is going to produce you a lot of sales and a lot of followers and a lot of team members later on. So make sure you develop all of your own stuff as much as you possibly can, because it will reward you handsomely later on. And if you don't know how, ask somebody for help that yes, you know yes, that yes. you like. Ask them, hey, how do I create my own stuff? But 
the biggest thing that I can always try to input to people is always remember that it, it's not the products or the opportunity itself that will set you free. Mm -hmm. It is learning and the mastering of the process that will. Because when you master the process, you can literally sell ice to Eskimos. Mm -hmm. Literally. You can sell anything. But it's always in the process that's going to enable you to do that. And that's why sometimes it seems so hard when you're first getting going and when you're starting out and you're you know, <clears throat> trying everything is because you haven't mastered the process yet, so it seems really difficult. Mm -hmm. But truly, it's not. It's actually super simple. It gets super It'll blow your mind if you haven't made any money yet once you start doing and realize that this process has been staring you in the face the whole time and all you had to do was implement it on a much bigger scale and to do and take the advice that we're giving you here today about building that like, know, and trust as fast as you can with people. Does it now feed the machine? Yeah. That's it. So our last message, because it's so important, we talk about lead generation and stuff, is feed your machine. Feeding the machine, feeding the list, making sure people are going through your system is number one. He's back there. He loves it. Doug loves it. Um, make sure you are feeding your machine. Make sure you have leads going through as fast as you can financially manage because, like I said, every lead for us was worth $13. Every lead is $13 going through, going through, going through. Make sure you are feeding your machine. And, and, and set goals, you know, of numbers for opt-ins and get excited about those opt-ins. And if your budget isn't big, use all, all the free stuff that you can as well yep. along with it. But make sure you're using TA and paid advertising because you want that leverage. That's leverage. When you, when you use some of your money to budget and build your business based on what you can afford to do, that helps leverage your time because that money is working for you. But you need to do as much as you can with free stuff. Uh, like we talked about YouTube videos, uh, Facebook, all these different aspects of social networking, all those things can help you get leads faster and get to that 10,000 mark and beyond that mark. So I guess that's all we got. Thank Feed you for the listening. Machine. Feed the machine and have a great day, everyone.